Welcome to question one of the 2017 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So for question one part A we have let y equal e to the power of 2x times cos of x on 2 and we're asked to find the derivative to y dx. So inspecting this function, we can see that it's two functions multiplied together. So we're going to need to use the product rule to differentiate this expression. So to apply the product rule, we start by letting u be the first function that's multiplied. So that's e to the power of 2x. And v is going to be the next function that's multiplied, which is going to be cos of x divided by 2. And then we need to calculate du dx. So the derivative of e to the power of 2x is 2e to the power of 2x. And v dx is going to equal, and cos goes to negative sine, so we're going to have negative a half sine of x on 2. And you can use your formula sheet to help find those derivatives too. So next on the formula sheet, we know the derivative of a function u multiplied by v is simply equal to u times dv dx plus v times du dx. So therefore, for this question, we would find dy dx, the derivative that we are after, is going to equal u, but u is e to the power of 2x, times dv dx, which is negative 1 half sine of x on 2. And then we add on to that v, which is cos of x on 2 multiplied by du dx, which is 2e to the power of 2x. So that is the answer to part A of this question. From the examination report, we can see that students are reminded to take care with notation, especially with the placement of negative signs and brackets in their working. For part B, we have the function with the domain of 0 to pi where the function f has the rule log e of sine of x and we're asked to evaluate the derivative when x is equal to pi on 3. So inspecting the rule of f of x we can see that it's a function inside a function so we're going to need to use the chain rule to differentiate and to apply the chain rule we're going to have y is equal to the outer function which is log e and then u is going to replace the inner function so u in this case is going to be sine of x. And then we need to calculate dy du. So the derivative of log e of u with respect to u is just 1 on u. And you could use your formula sheet to help find that. And du dx is going to equal, and sine goes to positive cos of x. So from our formula sheet, we know that the chain rule, which calculates dy dx, is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. So therefore, for this question, the derivative f dashed of x is going to equal to y du, which is 1 on u, but u has the rule sine of x. And then we're going to multiply that by du dx, which was found to be cos of x. So that is equivalent to cos of x on sine of x. Next up, we're going to evaluate that derivative when pi on 3 is substituted in for x, so we get cos of pi on 3 divided by sine of pi on 3. And now that is going to equal cos of pi on 3 is positive a half. We're going to divide that by sine of pi on 3, which is root 3 on 2. But instead of dividing fractions, we would multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So it would be 1 half multiplied by 2 over root 3. And that is simply going to equal 1 on root 3. So that is the answer to part B of this question. And from the examiner's report, we can see that that is the solution we were looking for.